many people across the world are taking action and doing brilliant things to try and protect the planet Earth from the climate crisis. The best part is, it's not just adults working to protect the planet. Young people around the world are concerned with the changing planet and want to make sure they can grow up into a healthy world where they can thrive and be happy. So they're taking action too. It's particularly powerful when everyone, young and old, work together to stop the climate crisis. It means change can truly happen. Perhaps you or some people in your school are already doing things to tackle the climate crisis. Making choices in our daily lives that protect the planet is called sustainable behaviour. Well, what does sustainable mean? Sustainable means that we can maintain a healthy planet for all living things today and for many years to come. There are lots of different things you can do to, to protect the planet and they're all really important. So let's start. What can we do? You can decide to change your lifestyle and what you do each day to help ensure a healthy planet. For example, you can ask your parents and carers to let you walk, cycle and take public transport like buses instead of driving a car to get to school or to go to the shop. When we use public transport instead of cars, there are fewer vehicles on the road burning fuel and emitting greenhouse gases, which warm the planet. And when we walk, again, there's fewer vehicles on the road. This is called sustainable travel. You can protect nature and biodiversity by planting community gardens and trees. Remember, biodiversity is the variety of plants and animals. By planting trees and gardens, we're not only making the world look beautiful, but we're adding biodiversity to local ecosystems, providing homes and food for animals and insects, and providing places to rest and reflect for people in the community. Indigenous communities, or the first inhabitants of areas around the world, have been protecting nature and biodiversity for a very long time. For many indigenous groups all over the world, Taking care of the environment is an important part of culture. Researchers have found that some parts of the Amazon that are taken care of by indigenous communities experience less de deforestation or cutting down of trees. This is an interesting example of the care indigenous communities take to protect their land. Another thing you can do to protect the planet is to try and remain thankful for everything the earth gives us. Reminding ourselves of what everything the Earth gives us can be really helpful to feeling motivated to make sustainable choices. In Canada, some Indigenous communities begin meetings, events, or gatherings, like this, with something called the Thanksgiving Address. The Thanksgiving Address identifies plants and animals on Earth, and the moon and the sun and the wind, and acknowledges how special and important each and every plant and animal is to our world, and how lucky we are to be alive on Earth. Isn't that an amazing way to begin a meeting or gathering? By sharing all the amazing beauty and nature we're surrounded by and, and being thankful? Remaining thankful for all the Earth provides is a great way to always remember why it's so important to take action to protect the Earth. Gratitude, or thankfulness, is an important aspect of acting against the climate crisis. Another thing we can do to protect the planet against the climate crisis is to think long and hard about what we buy and if we actually need it and if the product will have an impact on the planet. Lots of people are trying to buy less plastic to protect river and ocean animals that are affected by plastic pollution. This can help protect biodiversity in rivers and oceans and to make sure that water ecosystems are working well so we can have clean water. We can also think about the food we choose to buy or the food our parents or carers choose to buy and where we buy it from. Remember when we were talking about deforestation? Lots of deforestation is caused by cutting down trees so that cows can be raised for meat. Raising cows or cattle also uses up lots of other resources like water. Because of this, many people try and buy less meat and often particularly beef. Some people try and grow their own food or buy their food from local farms, 
so that they don't have to buy food from a supermarket which has traveled long distances in cars or planes that release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Another thing you can do with your family and your school community is to use less energy. Why don't you try turning off the lights, computers, or the TV when you're not in the room? If you're cold, try and put on a jumper before turning up the heating. And try and have short showers rather than big baths, as hot water uses lots of energy as well, which releases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. While we can make many changes in how we travel, shop, and heat our homes and schools, we still need some help from government. This is because governments can pass laws ensuring individuals and companies protect our planet. Governments can also spend money to help people be more sustainable. For example, by setting up more buses across a city or town, or setting up bike paths so people can feel safer cycling. People across the world try and work with government in different ways to protect the planet. Sometimes governments ask for communities' opinions on sustainable changes, like whether or not they want more bike paths for cyclists or more trees lining the streets. Other times, governments don't immediately listen to communities, and people try and share their opinions with government in other ways, like through sharing petitions. A petition is a letter sharing a concern, like lots of pollution. Thousands of people will sign the letter to show governments how many people care about the issue and how important it is to address the issue. Many groups also campaign for change. Campaigning is when groups of people come together to achieve a shared or common goal. Through setting up events, creating artwork, writing songs, and many other things, campaigns try and convince people in power, like those in governments, to help them achieve their goal. There are many pupil and student-led climate campaigns working hard to protect the planet. One campaign working hard to protect the planet is called Fridays for Future. Have you heard of Greta Thunberg? Greta is an 18-year-old climate activist from Sweden. In 2018, she started Fridays for Future by sitting in front of the Swedish parliament, where the government works, every day for three weeks to protest lack of action on the climate crisis. Fridays for Future is now an international movement of young people asking their governments to do more to protect the planet. From Iraq and Afghanistan to the UK and Canada, despite the thousands of miles in between, young people are working together to ensure a bright future for everyone. Remember how we discussed the power of working together? This is an excellent example of that. Another campaign is called Teach the Future. Teach the Future is a group of pupils across the UK who are campaigning to make sure information about the climate crisis and ways to act is taught to every single pupil in every single classroom in the UK. Like what we're doing now. The climate crisis is the biggest issue our planet is facing and Teach the Future believes that young people should know more about the climate crisis so that they can make responsible and sustainable decisions. Gosh, I'm inspired. Are you? There's really no time like the present to make decisions in your daily life that are good for the environment. So, to recap, we can make decisions to travel sustainably, to protect nature, to remain thankful and grateful for everything that Earth gives us, to eat food that doesn't harm the planet, to buy less plastic, and to work with government to help us make the planet Earth happy. There are so many ways that we can protect our changing world. We can take action to protect the planet in our daily lives and at our schools and across the country and across the world. It's always really helpful to share what we will do to protect the planet with others so that we can inspire them and that we can work together to, uh, to protect the planet. So what I want to do now is um, I want all of us to share what we're going to do to protect the planet. Let's call these our climate messages to the world. So please make pledges writing about what you will do to protect the planet at home, at your school, and in your community. Remember, there are so many ways you can take action. So just to recap, you can travel sustainably, 
protect nature by planting trees and gardens, remaining thankful and grateful for everything the earth has given us. You can eat food that doesn't harm the planet. You could buy less plastic. And lastly, you can ask the government to help you um, to make planet Earth happy. So when you write about how you will take action to protect the planet, please describe what you will do and why you've chosen this action. So I'm going to give you some examples. So at home, I'm going to eat less beef. So while raising cows has many different environmental impacts, I specifically want to eat less beef because cows need lots of land to grow. And because of this, we cut down a lot of trees to raise cattle or cows, which makes many other animals homeless. If I eat less beef, I will contribute less to harming the planet. So that's what I want to do at home. Now at school. So I don't go to school, but I do go to work. So I'm going to share what I'm going to do at work, um, which is something you may also be able to do at school. So when I'm at work, I'm going to try and encourage all my colleagues to turn off lights when we're not using a room. It takes energy to use lights, and often this energy comes from fossil fuels. And when fossil fuels are used, greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere. So by turning off the lights, we are contributing to a workplace um, that emits less greenhouse gases which is good, good for the climate crisis. And then for my community, because I've done in my family life, in my daily life, um, at work, and now in my community, during elections, I'm going to vote for councillors, members of parliament, and members of Scottish parliament, because I live in Scotland, um, who will take the climate crisis seriously and help my community and the country be more sustainable. So for example, um, more bike paths for cyclists or implementing free train journeys so that people don't have to drive in cars everywhere um, and just using less fossil fuels. So politicians who will support the UK to use less fossil fuels. I want to do this because even though I'm making many sustainable changes at home and uh, at work, I know that if I ask the government for help, my actions can be even more impactful. So I know that you can't vote yet, but there are so many things you can still do for your community. So when answering this question, try and think of who you might like to work with in your community to protect the planet, um, and what unique bits of your community you can focus on. Do you have a river nearby? Do you have a sea nearby? Um, various things like that. So remember, Please share how you want to protect the planet at home, at school, and in your community. And when you write about this, please describe what action you will take and why you've chosen this specific action. And, and most importantly, don't forget to get really creative. Anything is possible. When you're done, if you're comfortable, ask your teacher to upload your messages to our uploader form, and we'll explain that to your teacher, um, so we can share your messages widely. We want to let the world know how you will protect the planet because you are so inspiring and we want to follow your lead. Thank you.